In this video, we take you to the Gaylord Opryland in Nashville, Tennessee, when they were still set up for Christmas. This is the last video we filmed before taking a break and starting the next season. Welcome to Glamping Doodles. This is the show where we take you around this great country of ours, traveling by RV. We give you a taste of what the cruising life is like and have some fun along the way. So buckle up and come along for the ride as we go cruising around the USA by land. In the previous video, we did some minor repairs to the rig and then took you to Lynchburg, Tennessee, where we went on a tour of the Jack Daniels Distillery. It's cold, really cold. Yeah, cold front came through. It was 70 degrees yesterday in the morning and then this cold front came through. Now it's in the 30s. Yay. And it rains, it snows. Yeah. So, um, last couple days we hung out on Broadway. It's been fun. We haven't really filmed anything. Uh, today, though, there is the Gaylord Opryland Resort. It's beautiful. Apparently, it's pretty amazing. We are going to check that out and give you a tour of it today here in Nashville. I've been to the one in Dallas. There's a Gaylord Texan that is pretty impressive, but this one looks even bigger than that, so I'll show it to you. Even the outside decorations are so beautiful at night. Yeah. It's really nice. We were parked at the KOA Nashville Resort, which was about a 10 or 15 minute walk to the Gaylord Opryland. This was a video from our previous season, which was set in December, so you can see that the Gaylord is still decorated for Christmas. It's amazing how much space there was in the climate controlled domes of the resort. But for adults. So they have little domes everywhere and we're kinda lost. We're just walking around. I have no idea. Yeah, it's a little it's a, it's like Disney World on Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> they have these little Inside. rivers that go through it. Oh, pretty cool. It's so adorable. Yeah. That's, That's pretty really cool. beautiful. Oh. Whoever designed it, good job. And the domes on this, man. They had a river running through the entire complex and little villages set up everywhere. Too. I don't know. I a giant Christmas tree. Yeah. One thing I don't like about this place so far is that there seems to be a line for everything. Like a long I think, line. I mean, also we're on a Sunday before Christmas. Yeah, it's really busy. So I'm sure everyone, like, you know, is. There's a lot of kids. That's yeah, a lot of It's not that I don't like kids. I, I'm not going to. Not, it's not that. It's just like, I don't know. It's, yeah. It's just yeah. a lot of people. Where's the riverboat? I want to see the riverboat. How exciting is that? You get your picture taken with Santa who's wearing a mask. Yeah, Santa's got to stay safe. Yeah, well, I guess he is. Uh, He's got to go around the whole world. He is in that endangered demographic. He's an old guy, old fat guy. <laughs> That's the worst one. Yeah, he has, he has too much sugar, too much cookies, <laughs> you know. The holidays at Opryland draw a big crowd. Holly, you got the white knuckles holding on a tie. Pretty big tree. That's a huge tree. You hear about the one they caught on fire in New York? Yes. People are crazy. <laughs> we finally found the riverboat, but the line was way too long. So we headed outside to the ice rink. I mean, cool, but for an eight second tube down the hill, wait half an hour in line. And same with ice skating, I don't know. How much is for ice skating? I don't even know, $20, $21 to go ice skating.
wouldn't mind riding it, I don't want to wait 30 minutes. <laughs> The Gaylord even has an indoor water park, which we did not go visit. I don't know if you could hear the screaming or not, but there were kids going down that slide. Pretty cool indoor and a little bit of an outdoor water park, but I think they charged to get in for that. What were you saying? It's a pretty cool spot, but... Yeah, it, oh, was I saying something? You said something about how expensive it costs. Oh, I was just saying, like, it's, um, it's really cool, like, I, I definitely would, if I would, I would stay here, but, you know, I think besides just paying for the room, you have to pay for all the extra amenities yeah. on the side, like, the water park, or, um, like, well, Ice skating, or all ice that skating. was 20 bucks a person, and then... Yeah, you... and you're with all, if you, I don't know how many kids, whatever, if you have, like, three or four kids, you're just, it's, yeah. it's a lot of money, plus the room, plus the dining. Yeah. The dining. If you're, I mean, I think what well, you said you looked it up, it's like 500 bucks a night right yeah, now. It's around 600 dollars a night. Yeah. And then, which I'm including a standard room, so you're yeah. probably not in that in that area where there's a the beautiful garden view. But I mean, you know, so. that's probably you know peak time right now. You know. Oh yeah, I mean it's beautiful though. Like, come come like on a random Tuesday, and I'm sure it's oh, a lot better. Oh sure, but like now it's the holiday season, and it's really cute, and the lights, and there's lots of things to do, especially if you have kids. It's a good spot. There. Yeah. To bring them. Yeah. Expensive though. Mm, I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> mm. So, how was your RV two and a half weeks or whatever it was? It was so much fun. I loved it. I mean, I love camping, so it kind of is like the glamorous camping. It really is. But well, it's glamping with doodles. Yes, it is. Well, I had doodle. so much fun, it's and it was so cool. Singular doodle. Wish we had two, but yeah, Miss Maverick. Yeah, Maverick. But I had so much fun. We saw these states. We did so much fun stuff. Yeah, I think um, about the only thing I would do different normally if I'm if I was like full time cruising like in an RV or thinking about it. Like we were jumping around every like two or three days somewhere. Yeah, but it was cool. I mean, I'd say every five or six days. You know, move every five days, so you get five, four or five nights everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. You can see a lot of places still. Yeah, but, I'm not complaining though. I had a yeah. really good time. Yeah. So we are now waiting on your Uber because you're headed to the airport and I'm headed to Texas. Yeah, I'm gonna go home for the holidays. Same see here. The fam. So I'll film a little bit more of Glamp and Doodles on the way back home, but uh, it's been nice having. Thanks. Alright, Goose thinks so too. I'm gonna miss him. Oh, that's that a spa poo poo. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna miss him. Can I take him? No. Nope. Why? He wouldn't do well in here. Oh. So Stephanie flew home for the holidays, and I drove the RV back to Dallas. Stay tuned on the next video as we give you a tour of Athens, Greece. Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city line this ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for sunset 